Hi everyone, this is Likey Kermit, and um, here I am with uh, Bolt, also a plush that I got from this in Paris. I'm really happy I use this plush right now, because um, we went in the same period. And it's a good idea to use him for the holiday plushies of this year. So, um, in this video I'm going to show you... Yeah, Bolt. <laughs> He's falling. I'm going to show you the bigger plush that I got from uh, Italy. Uh, now it's amazing because I keep I kept finding a nice plush and plush that sometimes are so rare to find here. So uh, I grabbed my my um, chances and I um, used the opportunities to um, bring back lots of them. Now the first ones that I'm going to show you are two birds um, that I found in a grocery. So the very first one I found was this beautiful eagle. Uh, now, like I said, they have lots of National Geographic plush in Italy and um, Lely plush. And these plushies are from an assortment that includes National Geographic and Lely. So they have like two tags at the same time. And actually, this eagle look, looks almost exactly like the like the eagle that uh, Vesper got recently. Um, it's a bald eagle and uh, well beautiful eagles are kind of rare here so um, and I really liked him so I brought him back his name is Freedom so that's the very first one um, the second bird that I brought back a few days later was this beautiful cockatoo. Now, I don't used to collect these birds, but this one was just so beautiful. He's like totally white and um, it just looks so realistic and he's a pretty good size and I'm gonna put him with my other parrots in the um, in the corner of my room, just have a check. Um, well, you can see them from here. Um, but yeah, so it will do nice there. It will be a beautiful ornament. His beak is like totally black and I love the rings around his eyes. Um, also here, just so realistic and so beautiful. So yeah, and they were like not so very expensive because they come from a grocery. And well, yeah, his tag is in my wallet because he, he lost it. Um, he didn't have it, have it in the shop. And I, um, I took it with me when I already bought the bird. Um, but I, I, I just came back to, to grab the left, uh, left tag, so it's, it's, it's still in my wallet. Um, so he's also a National Geographic blush and Lele blush. And I like those blush, they're very realistic and so beautiful. It's like the same Lele tag. So these are the birds. Now the cockatoo doesn't have a name yet, so if you know a nice name for a cockatoo, let me know in the comments below. I'll have a look. Um, now the next plushies I'm going to show you are a husky and a wolf that I found in the same shop. I came there by coincidence and I found them together. And I was just so happy to find them there. Um, I'm going to show you them. I'm going to show you the husky first. This is the lying down husky that I found there. Uh, he looks actually exactly like Sparrow, but he's a lying down one. Uh, Sparrow uh, is actually the sitting up husky that I have like this with a harness. He's right here. And actually I think he's a Posh Balls husky or at least he was distributed by Nico Toy. Um, but there's like no difference with the Lely sitting up husky and Sparrow. So I, di I didn't get the Lely sitting up husky. Because they looked similar. Um, even though there are a few details on him that are different. When you see the markings in the face and the noses. Um, but it's it's hardly visible that those plush are from a different brand or different assortment. However, they um, make a nice pair together. See, they have like exactly the same harness, exactly the same color. And I don't know if they have the same length of tail. 
but they have like the same material too. Um, this is sitting up one, and like I said, the Lely Husky, um, there's like no difference compared with this one. And this is the lying down one. I was so happy I found a lying down version of him. So this is the husky that I found. Now this lying down one is named Gregor. Um, my sitting up one is Sparrow and this one is Gregor. Um, you might remember my um, sitting up Lally Wolf captain, who is right here. Um, yeah, he's still wearing a helm on his color. Um, it was a wolf with, a, with beautiful blue eyes and one day I saw on the internet that he, there was also a lying down version. Now I would, ne I would never believe um, that, that, that this would ever happen <laughs> but in Italy I uh, just found a lying down version of him. I knew that if I ever found him um, or if I would ever find him, I would find him in Italy. And I was just so lucky to came across one. So uh, this is just amazing. And they make a nice pair together. So Captain got himself a friend. And here he is. Now this is the lying down. Um, Lally Timberwolf. I believe that's a Timberwolf. He wears a collar that I got on vacation too. Um... I named this one Hayden, and uh, I'm just so happy he's here, because I used to have a WWF wolf that's a bit smaller, and I really wanted to find a bigger size, and uh, well, here he is, and he looks a bit like, um, he makes me think about the Webkin's Timber Wolf, but I don't really know if he really looks like him. Um, I'm just so happy I found this bigger size. He's adorable, so beautiful, and I love his blue eyes. So like I said, they make a nice couple together. So this is Captain and the lying down one is Hayden. Okay, now I'm going to show you three plush that came from the same shop. Um, now like you already uh, might have noticed, it's not really hard to find those canine plush in Italy. Of course it depends on where you, where you get them, but they used to have, um, when they have nice plush, they have a pretty complete assortment from some um, nice brands so um, when you have a look you you might find something you like um, now the very first that I found in that shop was this nice uh, husky plush now it's a pretty bigger plush uh, it's a really sturdy plush and it's really cute actually I love the look in her eyes I really love the the look in her eyes and she She's from Pilux, so I believe maybe there is a Storm and a Kylan version in a bigger size, but I, I didn't um, came across these ones. Um, now she has, she has a reflecting harness and a beautiful white tip on her tail. So she really looks like Rockfee. <laughs> Look. I named her um, Ida, after the opera that my, my parents went to see. So that's Ida, Rockfee. Now the next plush that I found in that shop was this uh, beautiful wolf. Um, and I think he's from Trudy and WWF at the same time. Um, he might be part of the project Oasi, I don't really know what it is. I believe it says in the tag, but I can't read it, it's in Italian, so it's here's the explanation. Um, what a butterfly on the tag. And he has like a Trudy tag and a WWF tag. Um, and his name is Hurricane, I was just so happy. I found him, he's so beautiful and uh, he looks different um, than my other wolves. Um, also, I would like to compare, actually, Hurricane with Franco, because Franco is also a Trudy plush, and as you might see, uh, also Hurricane has the same regular appearance of a Trudy plush. He looks more like a Trudy plush than, um, 
than a WWF plush. Uh, also the material feels kind of similar, but you really have to feel that of course. The ears have the same, um, are very regular and they're like the same size, just like for Franco here. Um, they have the same soft nose. The shape in their eye, the shape of their eyes, it might be a bit different. Also because Hurricane has fair, uh, fair markings here. Um, you might see the same fluffy um, places and markings on them. And what's also very similar on these plush are the tails. Also here you have a Trudy tag. And as you can see they have like uh, shorter hair here compared with this part also here and you have like the same um, the same thing right here. So actually there is some kind of a resemblance between those two. So yeah these are Franco and Hurricane. Now the next one that I found was as white as Bolt and as white as my Arctic Fox ice that I got from my friend. Because um, in that shop there was also a beautiful Arctic Fox for sale. One that was like I was actually le looking for. He's pretty good size too and he's like more like a floppy one. Um, I'm gonna show you him. Put Bolt here. This is ice, my sitting up one. I think I already told that. Um, where's my, yes, there he is. Now, don't uh, mind the long tag, it's messed up. Um, it took me a while to put it back together. Um, but this is a, a very, well, put ice here. This is a, more like a floppy arctic fox. He's also a bit bigger than ice. Um, one day I wanted, wanted to grab the opportunity to get the WWF one like this, but it was just so expensive that I had to leave him in the shop. Um, and I'm just so happy I found this one. Um, this is Moonlight. And, well, like you see, it's also... i uh, gonna remove his tag afterwards, because uh, it's really annoying. It's um, also a National Geographic Lally plush. And you have all kinds of animals and information in the tag, see? I got the dolphin and the orca for my friend, like I showed you earlier. And uh, I just love this one. Um, also love the details on his paws. And he might look a bit like the WWF one or the Webkin signature. I don't really know, but he makes me think about it. So these are my two arctic foxes, Moonlight and... Uh, Eyes.